In this video, I'm going to compare the latest Evil Dead movie, Evil Dead Rise, versus the 2013's Evil Dead. And oh boy, both the movies are pretty awesome. Now, this video will have spoiler to both the movies, so if you have not watched the movies, I'd suggest you add my video to watch later. Don't skip my video. So, with that said, let's get into the video. Now, 2013's Evil Dead was more or less like a retelling of the original movie, as well as add some new stuff to the Evil dead lore. Compared to that, this movie is just another horror movie. But what they did better is, instead of putting it in a cabin in the woods, they take it to a city apartment and made the character got stuck in the top floor. So overall, in both the cases, the main characters are stranded from the outer world and they face the deadites. And well, both movies are good for what they are. The 2013's Evil Dead has a story pretty similar to the original Evil Dead where a group of five friends goes to visit a cabin in the woods and there they find out the book of the dead and reading some passages from the book lets out a demon on them and the demon eventually kills all of them with one final survivor it's pretty simple and evil dead rise the story follows a family of three kids living with their mom and their aunts come to visit them and they live on an apartment which is built on top of a old bank vault and an earthquake strikes causing the floor to crack making a hole into the bank vault one of the kids explores the vault, finds the Book of the Dead, and they find some old recorder. They place it, which unleashes the demon, which possesses their mom, and the movie is about whether they survive or not. I found some YouTube videos claiming this movie to have much more core compared to other Evil Dead movies, which is something I wanna disagree, cause 2013's Evil Dead has much more excruciating gore stuff. In that movie, there is a scene where someone cuts their their face open with a shard of glass and in other scenes someone stabbed someone's eye with a needle and those were shot close up which was excruciating to watch. That's not to say this movie doesn't have gore cause this movie does have its fair share of gory scenes but all I'm saying is Evil Dead 2013 also had pretty good gore if you are watching for that. If you watch the original Evil Dead movies now you can find well there are some campy stuff and that was the charm of those movies. 2013 Evil Dead and Evil Dead Rise takes it more to the horror genre skipping all the goofy stuff which is a good thing cause they probably could not get to the level of Bruce Campbell's acting without Bruce Campbell so it's better not to try that which is something I liked about this movies. When I find out the cast of this movie where there were three child actors I was pretty sure those three characters are definitely not going to die and nothing harm is going to happen and maybe at the end of the movie with power of love they are going to defeat the deadite cause that is something pretty dopey and followed by a bunch of movies. But I'm glad to say that doesn't happen. That was like subverting my expectation in a better way. The only gripe I have to say about Evil Dead 2013 would be the movie at times may feel a bit too much like the original and lacking the charm of those movies. Other than that, if you take that for a single movie, that was pretty awesome. And in Evil Dead Rise, if I have to gripe, I'd say the ending cause there is a spider-like creature which is formed by three dead eyes merging together and yes another CGI monster to fight at the end. I don't know what they could have done better but I know it's kind of like nitpicking. So overall if I have to say I think Evil Dead is the strongest horror franchise in Hollywood now cause there is not a single bad movie and all five movies are banger even the Ash vs Evil Dead TV series was awesome. And that's all I got for today's video and hope you enjoyed my video and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you want to share your opinion the comment section is all yours so hope to meet you in the future till then stay safe and don't read any passages from the book of the dead if you find one